This is Insider Medicine in 60 from the UK. According to research in the journal Addiction, smokers are more motivated to quit if they take part in group counseling. In a study of nearly 1,800 smokers, researchers found that 35% of those who attended weekly group counseling interventions remained abstinent from cigarettes compared to under 19% of those who participated in one-on-one -on -one counseling. A separate analysis revealed that both treatments were cost-effective overall. From Milwaukee, according to research in the Journal of Neurosurgery Spine, the combined use of seatbelts and airbags can significantly reduce the risk of spinal fracture in a collision. In a study of over 20,000 motor vehicle accidents, researchers found that while using a seatbelt or airbag alone increased the risk of spinal fracture, the combined use of seatbelts and airbags reduced the risk of suffering a fracture by 33%. And finally, from Boston, according to research in the Archives of Internal Medicine, aspirin does not reduce the risk of breast cancer in premenopausal women. In a study of over 110,000 women, researchers found that taking aspirin two or more times per week was not significantly associated with breast cancer risk, nor was the use of non-aspirin NSAIDs or acetaminophen. The results were not affected by frequency, dose, or duration of use. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.